What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If this video was helpful or you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave down below. In today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the Billy Goat Debris Loader. This is our second week of use. It's got an 18 horse V twin Magnum motor, electric start, battery box here's a little walk around for it before we put it to use it's got the backup pole starter this is what we did last the other day this is our box we made for it this is what we blow it into Here's the hose. Show the impeller. Okay, hang on. Here's the hose. How big is this hose? Uh, I think it's uh, 12 inch diameter. We're thinking 12 nine inches. inches. Nine to 12 inches, we're not quite sure, but here's the handle. And then, uh, so this is the Piranha Blade impeller. So if you look there, it's got that extra little piece right here that'll help grind up the leaves a little bit more and uh, save some space in the trailer. So if you look at the leaves in the trailer, it's kind of hard to see through the turbine. I'm going to bring the phone right under there. See it grinds them up. Save, uh, they say if it's dry leaves, you save 10 to 1 space. 10 to 1 space. Versus if you're just bagging them and throwing them in here, which is a huge difference. Yep. And we're going to a job site and we'll put it to use and show you guys how, how it operates. Okay, we just uh, got to the job site here. We're in uh, western Wisconsin. Nice day out. 50 degrees, second week in November. All right, so we got the hose. Here's how you hook it up. This is a safety switch. This is a safety switch. The thing will die out if you do not have that hooked up. Which is good. Yeah, which is a good thing. <laughs> so you got to get that hose. It's a tight fit, but it fits right over that safety switch. Then we got it comes with a ratchet strap. I don't know if it comes with it. I think the guy oh, okay. from... Uh, we bought this used, we got to use it one time. Got out of the business. <laughs> and we'll tighten her up. And it's nice and snug. And then we got this black pole here. This is a, it's kind of like a swing arm. It goes in these uh, slots. We put the bungee on there just so this plate doesn't rub on the this uh, hose. It's just a good uh, little addition we did. But there's a swing arm right there. We went around here. Yep. Yep. And so it's like this. That's custom deluxe there. We wrap around there. We just do that because we keep it up higher. For your information, when we start this, we'll show you. But the, the straighter this hose is, the better because it, it, we have this clogged a few times with wet leaves, and that we just found out the straighter it is. Lay out here is the best. Yep. That's how it's kind of set up like that. So we just got that prepped up, ready to go. So once we get these leaves to the curb, we'll fire it up and show you guys how it actually vacuums. We got all the leaves to the curb. All the way down. This is what it looks like afterwards. We're gonna fill them. We're gonna fill this full. That's what we got right now. Right to the bottom. We'll do an after when we're done. We'll do a walk along and show you how many leaves we're gonna grind up with that vacuum blower. We're gonna do some reviews on these uh, Echo uh, leaf blowers here. I'll do, that'll be in another video, so go check that out. It's brand new. So, but this is what we got for leaves. We're gonna put all that through that uh, leaf uh, vacuum. We're gonna do all this, this, along this whole curb, and then a lot, a lot of leaves. Yeah. And then we'll get us, we got a big pile right down there. So, there, now you guys got what we're gonna do with that vacuum uh, 
Leaf vacuum. We'll start it up here in a minute. Electric start, I gotta go to the other side. Yeah. There's a fuel shut off right here. Our fuel is on. Always check your oil. Our oil's good. I'll come over here, hang on one second. Always, uh, a note real quick. You always wanna keep your uh, tarp or your whatever you're on off the muffler and off the breather. And here's the air box right here. We recommend you uh, blow it out after every day, after you, especially on the dry leaves. That's the air box. So yeah, just take a blower and just keep this clean. It's very important so you don't start no fires. But here we yeah, go. And keep a fire extinguisher in the truck. Yeah, too. fire extinguisher on hand. Here's the choke lever right there. And there's a key the, right back here. Oh yeah, key back here. Key on ignition right down there. And then here we go, cold start. Oh. Blank. in the leaf business. All right, we made it to the last final pile. What's nice about the back vacuum hose, you can lay it on the ground and save your back a little bit. You can just break it in there. That's the finished product there. Yeah, it's a must in the leaf business. See, that hose will get clogged if the leaves are wet and there's a lot of sticks, if that hose ain't straight. So you don't want to load it up too much because then you'll put a lot of load on the engine. Then you gotta shake the hose and stuff, so just gradually feed it as it wants it. But it's it's a time saver for sure. Alright, we got all that picked up. Well, that thing is powerful, folks. We put these clips on the back just to keep that tarp from hitting that hot muffler. But look at how far, remember I told you at the beginning it was how empty it was? We're up to here. 
we're up almost to the, the uh, gooseneck right there. So it did its job. The billy goat. Highly recommend it if you're in the lawn care leaf cleanup business. What do you say, Blake? Oh, I highly recommend. Last year we were using tarps and <laughs> rakes. We could have never done a property like this. It would have been, we would have filled this trailer up three times. Every day a project. Yeah, they, you just can't, you can't do it. You can't charge enough to make it worth it. Yep. You got this. Trust me, I've done the spring cleanups twice. The bulb, this is my first time doing this out of three cleanup seasons. We've already done more than we did last year. Yep. And it's been wet leaves too, and it's really windy today, so there's uh, excess debris laying around, but it is what it is. That's why we signed them up for spring cleanup too. <laughs> Get you some of that, folks. Then here's the chute. We just uh, take this bungee cord off. <laughs> Boom. There you go. So, yeah, there you got the Billy Goat debris loader. They do make bigger ones, but this is ideal. And we are going to probably put this on the front of the, the machine, uh, the trailer. We just did this because we didn't know what we were doing at the beginning of the season. So we just, it does work like this, no doubt about it. It's just a little, not much tongue weight on the front of the trailer, but. Yep, you have a problem until you get leaves in here, your tongue weight, you're, anytime you hit a bump, the truck's kind of sitting like this. So you're gonna, you know, that's just gonna bounce yep. up on you. So, you know, and then, and then the plus, plus when we open this up, the battery box, the box of the battery box hits the fender. So we actually had it on the wrong side. It should be on the curb side. So, you know, but that's not, you just get a couple guys and I just put some plywood down here. I mean, uh, two by fours to brace it up, but we're gonna put it on this side for the rest of the year, maybe. But it does work, it's not that big of a deal. It, oh, by the way, watch your head on this. I cracked my head already a few times, but all right, guys. This is how we tie it down when we get ready. This was the battery box I was talking about we hit right here, so what we do is just ratchet strap that so the unit's like this. All right, Blake, pull, put that down a little bit and go forward. All right, go forward a little bit. See, it's a fine line right there before it bottoms out. Go forward. There it is, all empty. Couple minutes, done deal. Well, there you got the Billy Goat debris loader. Any questions or comments on it, please leave down below. If this video was helpful or you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, peace.